Hello again, boys and girls. Hello, boys and girls. And cougar parents. And cougar parents. Today we're going to learn about equivalent ratios. How we get a you know, measure a word. Equivalent, no, I'm, equivalent. I'm calling. Ratios. Ratio. Okay, we've got a lot of energy for this one. Yes. Let's get to it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello boys and girls, here we have another um, look at equivalent ratios. Um, this is a little more complex, a little more practical than what we were looking at before. Here we see a, we have a word problem. It says, Lily sells five baseball cards to Shakur for $30. How many dollars will it cost him if she sells him eight cards? Well, the first thing you see is I set up our ratio. We're comparing baseball cards to dollars. Okay, and then we see here that Lily is selling five cards for $30. And then it asks, well, what happens if she sells him eight cards? How much will it cost him then? How much will it cost Shakur? Well, um, if, this, if, if she was, were selling him 10, it'd be real simple, wouldn't it? We would say, hey, well, I'm just doubling the number of cards um, from 5 to 10, so the cost would also double and it'd be $60. But we don't have that. It's not a simple. Um, it, it's not a simple multiple like that. Um, but what we can do is we could say, well, let's figure out the unit rate. There's there's two other strategies. We can we can say, what's the unit rate? How much does it cost per card? Well, if if five cards is thirty dollars, well, five dollars is thirty dollars. How much would one one card be? Well, I would just take thirty divided by five. Five goes into thirty six times. With no remainder, so it's it's six dollars per card. That's one strategy, and I would just say, okay, well then that's uh, six times eight. The answer would be forty-eight. Or we can also do what's called the um, cross multiplication um, strategy, which I've taught you that before, where we would just say, okay, we cross multiply that with that and that with that. Um, we would say this question mark. Let's let's give a a variable there, we'll call it C, we don't know, that's the unknown. We would say 30 times 8 is 240, and 240 has to be equal to um, C times 5, which is 5C. I divide this by 5, and I divide this by 5, because I want to find out what that unknown cost is. Um, and what happens here is the 5s cancel each other out, Boom, boom, and I'm left with C is equal to 240 divided by 5. Well, 5 goes into 24 times, and I have 4 as a remainder, and then I bring down the 0, and 5 goes into 48 times, so our cost is $48. So there's two strategies that when we're trying to find equivalent ratios, um, we can just look at the comparison saying, okay, if, I'm, if I have a 5 to 3 ratio, as 5 goes up to 8, well, can't do that one. We could find the unit rate. That's a good one. If we can find the unit rate for one card, then we can figure out um, what we cost for 8 cards. That's a great strategy. Find the unit rate first. Or we can cross multiply. And we'll take a couple, um, we'll take a look at a couple other strategies in class. I hope this was helpful.